Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com here. We are doing the brand new Upper Deck Fleer Ultra Marvel Spider-Man. It's a two-box random pack break number one. The next one's already in the store, but this is random pack break number one. Big thanks to all of these folks right here for getting to the action, guaranteeing themselves a pack. Man, who knows what could pop out of there? In fact, we're going to find out right now. So here it is. There's apparently two inners in here. Let's pop this guy open. It's kind of heavy too, so these cards must be full of full of big hits, heavy hits. All right. Uh, one, two, three for the top box. Four, five, six for the bottom box. Four. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is the box we're going to do, and this is like. That's the second part of the inner X2. Like X Men. I think there are some X Men characters in this too. Alright. So we'll save X2 for a different time. And we'll pop this open. Quite an unveiling, huh? These are heavy as well. There must be all sorts of fun stuff in there. All right, so there's that. So we'll mark this. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now, really quick, we'll go to the random number generator on random.org. It's on your right side of the screen right now. There it is. So one through six, we're gonna generate two numbers. There's three. So we're gonna do box three. We'll generate a number, another number. Box four, so three and four. So the middle two boxes are the ones we're gonna do. So we'll slide these over for the next break, which is already in the store. This is random pack break number one, a two box break. Box three and four is what we're gonna do. So there are 12 packs per box. We sold 24 spots, so I'm gonna number each of the packs. Then randomize your names, randomize the packs. Now here's what we can expect out of here. Sketch cards, rare clear plastic plexi sketch cards. There you go. So all sorts of cool, fun stuff we can expect out of there. All right. Okay, let's do that. All right, so let's label pack one first. All right, I'll do it right here. So there's one. Two, three, looks like an eight, right? Two, three, four, five, six. Obviously, if you're watching on uh, YouTube, you can, or watching the replay on YouTube, you can fast forward through this part, unless you want to watch it, I guess. I suppose you could. There's nothing interesting that happens during this during this section. All right, there's 12. And box two. Definitely trying to avoid that from happening. 16, dry right over here. 17, 18, 22, 23, and last but not least, 24. So we'll be randomizing names and they'll be randomizing numbers just like they were teams, you know what I mean? All right, so everything's la numbered, labeled, blah, 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 blah. So there are the numbers, there are the names. Let's randomize each list five times, one out of four. One, two, 
three, four, and fifth and final time. So we got John Parker up top, John Mortolaro in the number 24 spot. Let's put the names here. And here are the pack numbers, one through 24. Once again, five times. One, two, three, four, and fifth and final time. Pack 11 up there and pack 10 down there. And there's how it all shakes out. And we'll do, we'll do them in alphabetical order. It's a lot easier organizationally to organize them that way. John with 11. There's less confusion that way. Neil with 7. 23 for Chris. Christos with 8. John Okre with 1. Uh, Matt Wicks with 5. Ryan Landauer, 19. Matt with 2. John with 21. Coco Diablo with 24. With Last Spot Mojo. The last pack with Last Spot Mojo. John Parker with 15. Jason McKee with 9. Richard K with 18. Neil with 14. John M. With 16, Michael G with 22, Jason McKee, 13, Richard K, 20, John Parker, 12, Chris Parent, 17, John with 4, Neil with 3, Jason McKee with 6, and John with 10. So there you go. Let me alphabetize these by your first names. Sort by column A. So Chris Parent will be doing yours first. Let me pause the video really quick. I'm going to grab uh, actually some post-it notes and a couple other things I need for this break. When we come back really quick, we'll do the break. Stick around. All right, welcome back, folks. Got all my preparations here for this break. All right, so first we're going to start off with Chris with pack 23 and 17. There's 23 over here and 17 over here. Kind of place these off yonder. Make myself a little extra room here. All right, so Chris, parent, good luck. Pack 17. All right, so we have three car uh, five cards per pack. Let's see what we got here. Some good-looking stuff. Now, be sure to check these out on, on uh, the secondary market because even these non-numbered base cards could still... Superior Spider-Man, right? Could still be... Really cool. Could sell for a lot as well. Puma. Right there. We have Spider-Verse Milestones. What's this milestone here? Oh, I see. All right. Yeah, they feel a little bit thinner than Marvel Mas Masterpiece. Just slightly, though. And nice, this silver foil right on top here, Rhino. He undergoes radical treatments. There he is. It's just like, I'm going to be Rhino. That, that was his thing. Got to have a spider woman too. There she is. All right, good. Good first pack. And pack 23. Calypso. Vulture. I wonder if he had a choice to be Vulture. Probably not, right? Uh, he may have chosen to become the Vulture. Okay, fair enough. Doc Ock. There he is. One of my favorite villains in the Spider-Man universe. And another silver foil topped card. Jackal. Professor Miles Warren. And back here we have Deathlux. Lock. All right, there you go, Chris Parent. Use these blank cards to organize these. All right, so Chris Parent with the first two packs out of these two boxes. Very nice. Christos with pack eight, you're up next. Good luck. 
Yeah, the quality is very is very masterpiece like. It's really cool. Hydro Man using the power of the water. I haven't seen any numbered cards yet. Hobgoblin, but if if it's anything like Marvel masterpieces from last year, you know, even these non-numbered cards should sell for a decent amount on a secondary market. Listen, this is thirteen ninety nine. Most of these packs could probably, if you kind of sell these off one by one, should probably get your uh, get your cost of admission back, if you know what I mean. Dagger and Silk. There you go, Christoph. Nice. Slide these off to the side. Jason McKee, you're up next. 9, 13, and 6. Where's 9 hiding? 9, 13, and 6. That's 10, 11, and 12. i got to remark those. <laughs> That still looks like a 10. All right, so 9, 13, and 6. We'll go in order. Ah, look at this squirrely girl right here. Squirrel girl. Pretty squirrely. We have Deadpool at the White House. <laughs> I like this. I kind of collect postcards, so I kind of like this postcard look right here. Deadpool across America. I dig it. All right. There's the foil card, White Tiger, or the metal card, that is. And is that an autograph right there? Yeah, look at that. Mysterio. Let me get a closer, closer look at this auto. There it is. There's the silver ink autograph right there. Nice. Autograph by Ray Lago. There he is. Nice. Take a screenshot. There it is. Nice Ray Lago autograph there, Jace McKee. Here's the first autograph. And Jessica Jones. There she is. Doing her thing. All right. Pack nine for Jason. Six, comma, nine. And then pack 13. Cloak. I wonder why they call him that. Because he has a cloak. I get it. Electro, kind of like the uh, Marvel Pikachu right here. Oh, Spider-Man No More. Huh, yeah. That's what the Daily Bugle said. And, whoa, look at this. Wow. Spider-Man versus Sandman, Hollow Blast. Sandman, always always a tough battle. How do you fight that guy? Nice. These are some good packs for you here, Jason. And Black Cat. We saw a lot of her in last year's uh, Marvel Masterpieces. Still looks good. And not unlucky. All right. I love this. The artwork looks great, too. The Hollow Blast holograms apparently are one out of 72 packs. There's Gwen Stacy. Although, I'm led to believe that Peter Parker... I don't know. There's controversy there in the Spider-Man world. 
whether who he liked more, Gwen Stacy or Mary Jane. I like this set. They they're incorporating a lot of like like postcards and kind of uh, letters from Mary Jane as well. Symbiote. Isn't there see there that's like a letter from Mary Jane. Like her diary or something like that. Got postcards in here too. This is great. The artwork's great too, Jackal. Awesome. So great break for you, Jason McKee. Great three packs. All right, we'll slide that over. All right, next one. Next person is John. You also got three packs. 21, 16, and 10. There's 21. There's 16. And there is 10. 21, 16, and 10. Good luck, John. I guess I'll just kind of open all of these up. All right, good luck. Molten Man. I get it. Yeah, there should be some numbered cards, but I think they're pretty rare. Kane. There's another Deadpool, which, Ronbo, what were you saying, Ronbo? That it's one out of every six packs. Deadpool cards are one out of every six packs. Team ups. But there are their buddies. There is a metal card, Jack-O-Lantern. That's terrifying. And we've got Scarlet Spider. Okay, I'm not familiar with the Scarlet Spider. All right, on this side, this pack right here, we have Master Weaver. From the Legacy set, we've got Venom. Venom always scared me. It's terrifying. There's an info from the Daily Bugle right there. Nice. Oh, more Daily Bugle stuff. Civil War milestone. Spider-Man Unmasked. Whoa. What's up, Darren? What's going on? There's Doctor Strange. Seeing a lot of familiar, even for people who aren't familiar with these, uh, with these characters before. You know, once all these start movies start coming out from the Marvel universe, start to recognize these guys. Electro. And your third pack, John M. Ronbo says he outed himself. Mysterious. This is a character. He has no face. I think that that always bothered me. This guy terrified me all the time. Hobgoblin, who decided that those would be his grenades of choice. Pumpkin shape, jack o' lantern shape. I don't know how well that how well that flies. He makes it work though. Iron Fist is your metal card, John. Nice. Oh, I get it. On the account of her violence, Bloody Mary. And your last one, John. Well, there's Venom and then there's Anti-Venom. Equally as terrifying. There he is. Anti-Venom. So there you go, John M. Nice set of packs for you. All right. Another John. We got a few Johns coming up. John Oakray. One pack. All it takes is one. Pack one. Pack one is down here. 
Good luck, John. Oak Ray. We have Spider-Man Noir. Wow. That's interesting. What is this, like Steampunk Spider-Man? Apparently. We've got Spider-Woman, part of that legacy set. And it looks like we have Ezekiel Elliott. Oh no, Ezekiel Sims. Completely different. Totally different. Ezekiel Sims. And we've got a uh, chameleon. And the last one right here for John Oakray is. Oh, doppelganger. That's a ter That is a That is terrifying. All right. But uh, not a terrifying pack for John Ogre. That was a nice one, John. All right. Moving on. John Parker, 11-15. 12 and 4. 11, 15, 12, and 4. There's 11. There's 15. 12. And 4. So John Parker, 11, 15, 12, and 4. 11, 15, 12, and 4. All right, let's open all these up. We got Iron Fist. For John Parker. Tarantula. Gotta get all the spider variations in there. Back in black, milestones, like A C D C. And your and a metal card right here. We've got Spider Gwen. Did Gwen Stacy turn? Huh. Well, there you go. Everyone turns into a spider. All right. Co Cosmic Spider Man. Every kind of all the Spider Men's. Black Widow. Spider Woman Legacy. We still have not seen a numbered card yet, but even these base cards should sell pretty well. Oh, different color metal right there. Deadpool Across America. That cracks me up. Where are you now? Oh, oh Alcatraz, of course. Oh, I get it. Wearing the old uh, Steelers uniform. And blue metal, Scarlet Spider. Nice PMG. And that is numbered 6 out of 49. Wow. Those number cards should go for a lot on a secondary market. Nick J saying that the box price has already gone up on this. So lock in our prices on jazbeeshobbyland.com. And Spider UK. Spider, Spider UK, just a British spider, an English Spider Man. Yeah, you are right. Is that is that what he says? Uh, spider UK, I guess. A lot of these spiders I don't know of. Ultimate, I know Ultimate Spider Man. We know him. Adam Warlock. Team ups. I guess he teamed up with with Spider Man. I need a guy with 
A gauntlet and metal underwear. I need to team up with that guy. Spider-Man needed him for some reason. There's Daredevil. Metal. Oh, nice. Look at these acetate cards. But look at how look at look right there. So you can see that they have the die cut. They have the die cut right on top of the acetate. That's Moon Knight. Isn't there going to be like a Moon Knight? Not number, but that looks nice. Isn't there going to be a Moon Knight TV show or like a movie or something? I, th I thought I saw something like that. I like how they're delving into like all these characters in the Marvel world. All right, Green Goblin. Again, using non-aerodynamic jack-o'-lanterns. Like with all the holes in there, how could you ever get, how could you ever throw it accurately? Like try throwing a, it's like throwing a wiffle ball. There's Kingpin. What is this? Spider-Man 20, Spider-Man of the future, 2099. All right, that's what the world looks like in 2099. Oh, there's there's terrifying doppelganger again. John Parker, look at this, terrifying, terrifying. <laughs> I would not want to run into this guy. What is he in a school bus or something like that? Some sort of building, lunch area? Imagine if you're just eating lunch. There comes doppelganger. Another metal card. Just normal old Spider-Man. Regular old Spider-Man. Old regular Spidey. And we got Luke Cage. It's like a wiffle ball, Andrew Dermott. How would you how would you throw that? Alright, good one. John Parker, nice. He got what? Four packs. They were good packs. Especially that numbered card in there and that acetate. So good start. John Parker getting a bunch of Peter Parkers. Alright, Matthew Wicks. Packs five and two. There's five. And there's two. Hey, Kurt is in the house. Yep, we're nerding it out today. All right. So this is for Matthew Wicks. Just regular Spider-Man right there. Nothing wrong with the original. Carnage or Carnage. Remember Don Carnage in the Disney Afternoon Tailspin? It's okay. Disney owns like Marvel now, right? I can cross-reference that. Faithful. Old Faithful. I've been there. It's pretty nice. Yellowstone. I recommend everyone go. But look at look at Deadpool. Trying to screw with Old Faithful. Trying to put a cork in it. Ezekiel Elliott. Or Sims. Zeke. Another one from Matthew Wicks. And this looks like a Venomoth from Pokemon. No, it's a beetle. I see. Kind of looks like Venomoth, right? All right. Craven, I remember him. Craven's great. Look at that. He's still wearing his uh his leopard print. You got to be got to be a, a real man to wear that. There's Spider-Gwen, avenging, avenging always. Best friend, it says. More than friends probably. Clone Saga, that's confusing. Shoot him, I'm the real Peter Parker. No, shoot him, I'm the real Peter Parker. Classic. And a medal of Spider-Man 2099. When using, uh, using Tony Stark technology maybe? You would, Darren, all the time. 
Just Darren, you just gotta ask the girl. Hey, you you, you just wanna watch Jaspies and chill? Jaspies and chill. Matthew Wicks, nice. All right, almost there. Michael G with pack 22. He's going to give one of these a shot. We're going to start off with Jackpot. There she is. The always terrifying Venom. And we got Metal Hulk. I don't know why they haven't been able to make a decent Hulk movie, but it's kind of tough, I guess. Spider Girl. Not Spider Woman, Spider Girl. And Spider Slayer. I see the Slayer of Spiders. All right, Michael G. Nice one. Nice pack. All right, moving on. We got Neil with three packs. Seven, 14, and three. There's seven. There's 14. There's three. As you can see, we are almost done, folks. We got one more inked break coming up after this. And then we'll see what else we can do. Hopefully some of that NT. There's NT basketball hiding right there. All right. Pack 7, 14, and 3. Here's 7. There's 14. And 3. All right, good luck. Good luck to Neil. Boomerang. Oh, I get it. What if he wanted to be named V-Visor, but everyone's like, we're going to call you Boomerang. He's like, no, no, I want to be V-Visor. They're like, no, we're going to call you Boomerang. It's like, I think V-Visor is better. It's going to be Boomerang. Got stuck with Boomerang. Doc Ock. Legacy. We have Speed Demon. I'm assuming he's fast. <laughs> yeah, V-Visor, Arthur. No, you don't like that one? V-Visor. Spider Woman, see? I wonder if there's Spider, not a girl, not yet a woman. Potentially. Maybe there could be. Britney Spears reference. Sin Eater. Look, look at him. Sin Eater, I'm going to eat your sins. Is that, is that what he's saying? Huh. Oh, I see. Oh, he's some sort of vigilante. I get it. Well, let he without sin cast the first stone. All right. Lizard. Who are these characters? Mothra, who are these? These are, these are, these are the popular characters from the Marvel Universe of which you'll be seeing a lot of in future major motion pictures. Electro. Demo Globin? Demo Globin? Oh, what is he, demolishing things? Oh, I see, all right. Fair enough. Prowler, all right. Maybe he has to knock on doors. Let him know that he's just moved to the neighborhood. Hi. My name is Prowler. Just moved to the neighborhood. Just letting you know. I'm on certain lists. Mr. Negative. Well, we want to be positive here at Jaspie's Hobbyland. We want to be positive here at Jaspie's, but that'll still go to still, still go to Neil. Be positive, though. Tombstone. That was a great movie. 
I'll be your Huckleberry. Tombstone. I don't know this guy. I know this guy, though. Mysterio, always scary. It's just, it's just the, the fact that he has a, a fishbowl for a head. You can't really see his face. I don't like it. All right, there's Deadpool cruising across the Grand Canyon. I've hiked part of the Grand Canyon before. Not with Deadpool, though. Not with Deadpool. Someday. Someday. Nice. Precious Metal Gems Jack-O-Lantern. 76 out of 199. Nice one, Neil. Anything that's numbered should do pretty well. I'm out of the proper penny sleeve size. Oh, I got more right here. There we go. Any numbered card, I mean, basically, most of these packs should get your cost of admission back at least, right? If you get anything numbered or something like that, some of these numbered cards could go for hundreds of dollars. All right, there's Speed Demon. Right there, great, excellent packs for Neil Mordowitz. And we're getting towards the end. Three packs for uh, Coco Diablo, Richard K. 18, 20, and 24. 18, 20, and 24, leaving pack 19 for Ryan L. Okay. Deadpool, hanging out with some butterflies. Got it. That's what he does. Uh, there's V-Visor again. Boomerang. There you go, Deadpool. Plop it over the Niagara Falls. That's illegal, I believe. Right? I don't think that's legal anymore. Probably since like the 1930s, but he's doing it. Deadpool doesn't give an F. Metal. Morbius. And Sin Eater, the Eater of Sins. Isn't that the Eucharist? What do I know? Spot. Oh, I get it. Really? Spot? <laughs> I guess it would be cool to travel th through dimensions like this, though. Just whoosh, spot, and then you just pop in there. It's a smooth hit right here. Silk. That's a good one. Nice one for Coco Diablo. Empire State Building. Yeah, there he is. You, not, not, I don't think you're supposed to jump off that either. And nice. Like these acetate cards right there. 119 out of 175. Nice. Hammerhead. And swarm. Like like killer bees. What up, TD? Well, they're here for the Spider-Man. And National Treasures Basketball. All on jazbeesobbyland.com. Cold heart. She's a cold-hearted snake. Look into her eyes. Uh-oh. She's been telling lies. Iron Man, team ups, just hanging out, teaming up, right? 
hooking up Spider-Man with like new gear. Moon Knight. Another acetate card. Nice. Hammerhead again. Cool. These are very cool looking cards. They put a they put a die cut, if you can see right there, they put the die cut right on top of the uh, the acetate card, which I think is pretty sick. Lit, as the kids say. Bah humbug. And the last pack, that is for Ryan Landauer, Royal for Speed. That was a nice uh, few packs for Richard K. All right. Pack 19, the last one for Ryan Landauer. Good luck. Rhino. He opt, did you opt to be a rhino, I think? He, yeah, he, he underwent the treatment for that. He's like, you know what? I'm gonna go with rhino. Of all the animals that he could have chosen, he said, I'm going with rhino. Demoglobin, not hemoglobin, but demoglobin. The last few right here. Solo. Like Maverick and Top Gun, Solo. On solo. That's right, Iceman. I am dangerous. Spider Queen. So we saw Spider Girl, Spider Woman, and now Spider Queen. And the last one of this two box break, number one, is Morbius. I almost said Mobius, like a Mobius strip. But no, it's Morbius. And there you go, Ryan Landauer. There you go, everybody. That was 2017 Fleer Ultra Spider Man. Got an autograph out of here. This is pretty sick. I actually kind of like this. This is a lot. The quality looks a lot like Marvel Masterpieces. I think another two box break is sold out already. So check out for more at jazbeeshobbyland.com. This is Joe. We'll see you next time. It's a lot of fun. Let's do more.